Jam, and this is Math 101. A whole number that has only two factors or divisors is called a prime number. Example, a man, on, a man had seven balls for his garage sale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he wanted to place the same amount of balls in a box. What choices of arrangement does he have? Let's try seven. A box. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only need one box. So seven balls times one box equals you guessed it, seven. <gasps> or seven balls divided by one box equals you guessed it again, seven. Okay, now let's try. Three, 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 three. Okay. Box. One, two, three. And then four over here. That makes that seven. Okay, let's see. Mm. That's seven. Divided by three. Two. Two times three. Six. Mm, seven minus six. One. The remainder is one. So a three is not a factor of seven. Let's try. Five. Okay. A box. One, two, three, four, five. Five balls in one box. Now let's add some more. Two, four, that makes that seven. 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 Divided by five. There is one. Five six seven. What? One times five? Five. Minus seven minus five. Two. So the remainder is two. So five is also mm. not a factor of seven. Let's try by one. Box. One. Box. Okay. So. Seven balls and seven boxes. Now let's divide. Seven. Divided by one. How many ones in seven? Seven! Seven times one? Seven! Minus seven minus seven. Zero. So one is a factor of seven with no remainder. So we can say that one and 
seven. Our factors of seven. On the other hand, the whole numbers that have more than two factors or divisors is called a composite number. Example, the man now has six balls. One, two, three, four, five, six. He wants to put the six balls in a box. In a box. Let's try by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we only need one box. Equals six times one. Equals six. Let's try four. One, two, three. One, two, three. We we'll only need two boxes. Two, two, three, two, three, two. Equals six. Let's try by two. One, two. One, two. One, two. We only need three boxes. And that means two times three. It goes six. Now, one. Let's try one. One. So there are one ball and six boxes. Mm, so it's one times six. So the factors of six are six are six, one, two, and three. So six has four factors, so it is a composite number. That is how to identify prime and composite numbers. Wait, don't leave yet. Did you know that all even numbers are composite numbers? Except two? I hope you learned something from me today. Bye!